What's going on guys? Welcome to our video today. So today we are going to be covering some of the changes coming in Stonethorn, the newest DLC that's going to be taking place for the Heart of Darkness, whatever set of DLCs we're going to be getting. And uh, today we're going to be looking at five changes. Um, one that is actually probably going to be flipping and flopping throughout the entire test on the PTS. And the rest of them I feel like are going to be set in stone for the most part. Maybe tweak a couple of... Um, a couple of numbers here and there, maybe the proc chance here, whatever, stuff like that. But yes, we are going to be covering the five items that I think are the most important to keep an eye on in the next coming weeks with the Stone Thorn DLC coming out here very shortly. Sets that maybe you want to farm up now, so that way you don't have to do it later and then you'll already have them set ready to roll as soon as they get their change. You'll be big swinging and doing what you need to do. So first item, what we're going to be doing is looking at the Thracian Stranglers. Now this is the uh, forum update from the PTS, so the original notes that you saw on the Stone Thorn update where it had the, over the 200 item changes, this was actually different. So what they're doing is Thracian Stranglers, they increase the duration of each stack to 10 minutes, which originally when they did the first change it was 30 seconds, to make them essentially permanent while fixing some bugs with actual permanent stacks. No, this set is currently undergoing some additional changes which are not yet complete. We plan to increase the maximum stack count from 20 to 50, which is pretty big, allowing the set to stack up to a maximum of 2,000 weapon and spell damage, but with a 50% reduction in healing and shield efficiency and 50% increased damage taken. This should make the maximum power of this set unobtainable to reach by multiple players in trial settings. At the moment, these stacks are also not being removed on death. These changes and issues will be fixed in a future PTS patch. So pretty much, they're, in my opinion, they're cutting Thrashian Strangler's power in half, but if you cut the power of an item that has like 300% power spike down in half, it's still 150% power spike. 50 stacks is a lot of stacks. 20 to 50, that is a lot of stacks. That's gonna be absolutely unobtainable on a trial. There's no way, you have 11 other people smacking everything, there's no way you're gonna get last hit on 50 adds before the first boss. Um, the 50% reduction to healing shield and increased damage taken is a lot, especially once again for a trial environment. Um, that's that's just a lot, especially because there's unavoidable damages that you have to take, like let's like Ethereal Archive, like you're gonna be taking damage in the execute phase no matter what. If you're taking that extra 50%, good healer or not, you're probably still going to die which sucks and I feel like that's it's not fully dead now it was fully dead with the other with the 30 second patch this one I, it's the 50 percent taken man I don't know we'll have to see how it plays out we'll have to test it get our hands on it do what we need to do there and see how it feels once they actually set in stone what the change is going to be for Thracian um, but until then it's going to kind of be up in the air because like they said that there are going to be changes and issues fixed in the future PTS patch all right, so number two, we're gonna be looking at Torog's Pact. So this is a tanking set, so all you DPS people, um, this is kind of irrelevant to you unless you wanna build a tank. But Torog's Pact, the two-piece set, now gives armor rather than spell damage, which really is was a huge difference. Um, this is also actually viable in uh, PvP for DPS people. Um, yeah, now it gives armor rather than spell damage, which is very important for PvE tanking um, because the spell damage pretty much made this irrelevant. Uh, they increase the cooldown for enchantments up to 33% or to 33% up from 30%, which a 3% increase really isn't that important. It's not that big a deal. And then they increase the potency of enchantments to 90% up from 30%. I think this is actually a mistype because if we go here, um, where is it at? Where is it at? It should be right in here, right? Yeah, Torox Pact. Reduce the bonus to the enchantment potency to 45% down from 90%. And they tried to like say since this bonus can apply to both of your enchantments i feel like they were trying to cover their tracks of the fact that they just had a typo but they most definitely just had a typo um i don't think anybody in the right mind would be like you know what let's just jump that up 60 percent like why not right like why not just almost double the power of your enchantment but this is going to be really really good um i'm excited to see tanks use this in pve i'm also excited to see some pvp builds possibly throw this into effect we'll see what happens uh, a lot of people are running five heavy in pvp just to get that extra health boost because healing is nerfed super hard. So we'll see what happens there. 
So this is going to be a stamina PvP set, sheer venom set. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. I don't actually remember where this is obtainable. I want to say sheer venom is in, it's a dungeon, I believe. Yeah, so this set can now proc up multiple targets from a single hit of an execute attack, but cannot refresh itself on targets which is absolutely insane when you think about the ranged execute abilities that people have. Now it'll pretty much be a splash AOE, that a splash AOE DOT, which is going to be weird. Um, this set now deals 8766 damage over 6 seconds and deals up to 100% more damage to targets below 100% rather than dealing 8428 over 6 seconds, which is absolutely insane. So it does 100% more damage to targets below 100%. So if you're at 99% health, you're taking 100% more damage from an 8766 over 6. That's, I mean, I'm, not throw, I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you guys, but that is, uh, that's a lot of damage. And it's over 6 seconds, so that's kind of bursty damage in the same as well. I mean, you can cleanse it in 6 seconds, but there's not a whole lot of people that have a cleanse. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. This is gonna be kind of a game changer for Stam, especially Stam Blades. I feel like Stam Blades and Stam DKs are really gonna appreciate it. Stam DKs especially, due to the fact that it's poison damage. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. I think they might revert or change some of this just due to the fact that PvP w is already not really in a healthy state from Mag to Stam. So I feel like this is just gonna tip the scale even more in Stam's favor. So, yeah. Alright, this one is for all of you mag DPS out there. I am one of you, we are one of a kind, we are special people, and we need some love, man. Stamina's been getting all the love lately, we need some love, and we got some love. So Mechanical Acuity, if you didn't know, is a pretty nutty set. Um, for all these, they should be, there should be a little tab over here on the right that shows you the original set's um, abilities and all that. So for Mechanical Acuity, they removed the proc chance from the set completely. So now it's a guaranteed uptime whenever the uh, cooldown is done. You will immediately get it back up as long as you meet the criteria. Uh, this set now grants its guaranteed critical strike to an ability that can naturally critical strike rather than only attacks. So what this means is any ability that can crit can now crit off your Mechanical Acuity proc. So, that being said, that's Force Pulse, that's Puncturing Sweeps, that's, I think, Crystal Shard. Pretty much, I think, anything that's not an a uh, DOT can crit, if I'm not wrong. Like, in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's how it works. It's like, and pretty much any ability, even AoEs, I believe, can crit. Um, reordered this sets two to four piece bonus to better account for bar swapping. So, pretty much, they switched it around. So, if you want to do, uh, three and four bonuses without having the five piece, you can do that, which a lot of people have been doing. Not really with mechanical acuity, but uh, with other things. So maybe they're trying to make other ones viable for that. Moving on to the last one, the final number five. So number five, guys, I am very, very excited about. I saw this when the patch notes went live. And I immediately said that this is going to be an insane set, and I'm already farming to get perfect rolls myself. And that is the Medusa set, aka the Mother Sorrow Killer. So Mother Sorrow is incredible. Uh, by the way, Mother Sorrow did get a slight little smidge of a buff. It's like they up the they up the damage by like seven or something like that. Like it's not even anything insane. But Medusa, this sets two to four bonuses now are now spell critical rather than health, magicka, and spell damage. And this set now has an additional 5 piece bonus of 900 spell critical. So this set now gives spell critical all the way down from its 2 to 4 piece bonus sets, which is a lot of spell critical, gives a 900 bonus on top of having the 10% increased critical damage. Which is absolutely insane. It's like having channeled acceleration procced at all times. With pretty much, I think you're only losing, I want to say it's like 250 spell critical compared to Mother Sorrow. It's not a lot. It's nothing to like scoff as on like, wow, like that's trash comparatively. Like the 10% damage increase on critical strikes alone is worth it. Even if you had like 700 critical that you were losing on. 
it is absolutely insane medusa mark my words guys medusa is going to be a set to be reckoned with it is going to make damage numbers insane the fact that it's two to four is not garbage anymore and the fact that it has not only that the spell critical for the two to four but a 900 spell critical boost on the five with the 10 percent critical damage buff that's absolutely nuts it's going to be so so good it's going to open a slot on your bar for another buff if you want give yourself major sorcery use entropy do whatever you want to do now that you don't have to run channeled acceleration I am very excited about this set. Also, be warned, the only thing that I can tell you about this set that might hinder it comparatively to Mother Sorrow is the fact that it is a heavy set. So if you want to run this and still use light armor, you have to use weapons and jewelry of Medusa to make it work correctly. So forewarned, you have to use weapons and jewelry unless you want to run heavy, which is also a possibility if you really want to do that. I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. But if you want to run heavy, perfectly fine. If not, you got to run jewelry and you got to run uh, weapons, which are somewhat hard to obtain. And that might be the only thing that keeps people away from the Medusa set. But not I. I will be grinding the hell out of this to get it. But yeah, guys, that is it. If you did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a member of the shoe crew. I would greatly appreciate that. I already said that, but I really want to get across how much I appreciate the subs and everybody that is a member of the shoe crew already. You guys are amazing and I love you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to keep up with this as much as I can. Put out some videos. I will probably do another one right before uh, Stone Thorn comes out. So that way you can see all of the changes and see if the list, maybe there's a new set on here that got a buff that didn't get buffed originally, you know, stuff like that. But. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you on the next one. Later.